to my channel. Um, so I've decided I'm going to do a little makeup tutorial for you today. Uh, let's get started. So I'm just going to um, moisturise my skin because I haven't done that yet and I'm going to use the Liz L Skin Repair Moisturiser for dry and sensitive skin and it just comes in a pot just like that. I'm just going to take a little bit and just pop it onto my head. I need it like that. <clears throat> I'm next going to go in with MAC Prep and Prime Primer. Uh, this is the Skin Base Visage and I literally only have like one pump. This will also help my help uh, your makeup stay on all day. I'm gonna take some scotch tape and I'm just gonna use it on the outer corner of my eyes just to so I'm just gonna I'm going to use the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. That's just going to be my base. So that's on. I'm going to use my Makeup Geek Vanilla Bean, which is the top one just there. Yeah. It's a real techniques. Um, it's in in the um, Nyx picks, I think, and it's just like a slanted brush, but it's great for like putting colour just as a wash all over the eye. Okay, so that's our base put on. The Tarte Tartlet palette. I'm just going to use one of these pointed brushes again from the same Nyx picks. Collection, and I'm just gonna go for Force of Nature and Wonder. I'm just gonna blend those two together, and then I'm just gonna use it just into the crease. I'm just gonna bring it all the way around because this will be a, my blending shade, my transition colour. The same on the other side. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to take Dreamer and Power Player out of the same palette. And I'm just going to go across my outer corner with this. I'm just going to bring it down and blend up into the crease as well. And then I'm going to take my Smash bu Smashbox crease brush and just blend that out. Just so there's no, no harsh lines. Shell, which is the plum, and then the fashionista, which is the, the black. Just adds a little bit more drama to the eye. The trick is just to keep blending it because you want it to go from light to dark on the outer corner but you don't want it to have any lines anywhere. Just blend that on there. So we're going to finish off the look with my iPad. Um, so I was saying now I've done the eyes I'm going to um, just use um, In the Spotlight by Makeup Geek.
that's done. Um, and then I'm going to use my liquid eyeliner and it's the Kat Von D. It's a tattoo liner in Trooper, which is like their black, black. It is running out, so I hope it lasts for this video. And I'm just going to, I always start in the middle. So this is where the tape comes in really handy because it doesn't really matter if you make a mistake because the tape's there. Just follow the tape up. Come around. If you just what? Clears up. I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. Just want all the colours to blend together now. So, right now I'm going to do the rest of my face. And my foundation is not looking great, so I'm going to go back over with um, the Illamasqua Skin Base in SB4. So, I'm just going to put that on my Real Techniques brush. So I'm just going to use my concealer, which is Glass Infection Collection. I'm just really going to buff it in. see this decrease Ooh. the powder I'm using is um, an Estee Lauder um, double wear stay in place powder in desert beige I'm just going to use that all over now so next I'm going to do my eyebrow I'm going to use Anastasia dip brow parade in I'm going to use a Royal and Lanical brush and it's just got like a um, angled edge so I'm going to get some product on your brush doesn't matter if it's too much because I always dab it into the cap anyway well, not too much at the front though you don't want too much colour at the front so kind of start and work your way from the middle. And then going on to the other eye. And I never really like do this, you know how like people do the straight lines at the front, I don't, I'd rather it just blend naturally into my eyebrow hair. Brow gel. This is the Maybelline Brow Drama Transparent. This is just a clear gel. I know pomade is meant to be like a gel as well, but I always find that if I put this on, it stops all the uh, little hairs from sticking up. Now I'm going to finish off my eyes with just the Bombshell and Fashionista in the Tartlet palette. And I'm just going to run it under my eye just so it joins the way in. Use the false lash effect fusion by Max Factor mascara. Actually, I might curl my lashes first. Okay. Just going to I always start with the bottom. what powder brush this is I've had it for years so it loads some up on my brush tap off the excess and then I'm going to hold it so it's like that 
and I'm just going to put a little bit just on the cheekbone. And then for highlight, highlight, I'm going to use the Becca in Opal. So I'm just going to use a blush brush. For lips, I am going to use Saw Lip Pencil from MAC. Brave lipstick from MAC and then a Dior lip gloss in the Gloss Glow 256, I think that is. Oh, I forgot blusher. Let's put some blusher on. I'm using Dolly Mix by MAC. It's the Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush on my blush brush. I need a little bit of pink on those cheeks. Okay, so Saw by MAC, I'm just going to use that to line my lips. I'm just going to colour, I've just coloured in my lips so that it should hold the lipstick better. I'm just going to use that. And then some gloss. And I'm just going to pop that in the middle. And there we have it. So yeah, this is my final look. Okay then, well, thanks for watching.